Clone anything in just three simple quick steps, be it cloning Windows from one drive to another or copying any partition. That applies to both internal drives and external drives connected via USB. Any beginner can do it. You can use a variety of tools to get that job done. There's plenty of choices out there, free and paid. For today's video, I'll demonstrate to you how easy and straightforward it really is by using the EaseUS disk copy software. There are of course many alternatives, but today we'll only be focusing on this specific tool. I would like to thank EaseUS for sponsoring this video. This greatly assists me with financing other upcoming projects and reviews that are planned. In the video description, you will not only find the link to EaseUS disk copy, but also a bit of a giveaway, basically a lifetime pro license for this mentioned piece of software. However, this only applies to the first 100 users who activate using the provided license key. So if you think you could put a software like this to good use, go ahead and grab yourself the key. Now what are the different use cases for using such cloning software? Number one, migrate Windows to a new drive without reinstalling. Of course you could just simply reinstall Windows, but that often eats up a lot of time and is annoying depending on how many programs and games you have installed and what your customized settings are. Number two, you're upgrading to a new hard drive or SSD simply for storing data and files, but you don't want to manually drag everything over onto the new drive. Especially on a large scale with tons of drives at a time, a lot of time can be saved by making use of cloning software. Number three, basically create full backups of specific drives or partitions you want. Alright, let's get started. I will now go ahead and download the software. I then execute the downloaded file and am immediately greeted by a window with various deals and prices. In order for me to properly introduce you everything in its entirety, I already do own a license and therefore enter it to activate the tool. Once activated, I see a new drive being recognized and I was offered to clone my Windows OS over to this new drive. For now, I decline. The user interface is now, in my opinion, simpler than it ever was. Maybe too simple for my needs, but certainly very welcoming and less intimidating for inexperienced beginners. So basically, we are presented with several options. Disk and partition mode each allow us to clone either an entire drive or specific partitions of it. You can also create a bootable USB flash drive in here so that you can run the ESUS disk copy software from a USB flash drive on any system out there and take this useful tool with you anywhere without the need to install it. Even if Windows would no longer start up correctly or simply refuse to boot up. Definitely a useful solution for emergencies. But let's stop beating around the bush, let's quickly clone Windows. To do this, I select the appropriate drive and disk mode on which Windows is currently installed. Then we move on to the next step and select the desired target drive. That's the one we want Windows cloned to. In today's case, that's going to be my 500 gigabyte external USB drive with an HDD inside. Then the layout can be adjusted, but in most cases, you just leave it at auto fit and let the tool automatically determine the best layout for you. If you're about to clone Windows onto an SSD, it would be advisable to select the SSD option down there at the bottom. Before the final step, however, we are being warned that all the data on the target drive onto which we want Windows to be cloned to will now be deleted. As soon as we agree, the cloning process begins. Depending on the speed of the drive and the size of what needs to be copied, this can take a while. It took longer for me because I used an over 10 year old mechanical hard drive for this purpose. What matters is that the cloning process has completed successfully. But does the operating system on the new drive actually work? Will Windows boot up normally? I can answer that with a yes. The cloning was a complete success and obviously super straightforward. However, I personally find the feature of creating a bootable USB drive with the EaseUS disk copy tool on there a whole lot more appealing. In theory, we could even include add drivers, which is really cool. So all I do is plug in my USB flash drive and this software right away detects a change and wants to read out and update any drive information. We are going to agree to this, but then decline wanting to migrate the OS. We then go ahead and select the right USB flash drive where it says USB and click on create. 
After a short while, we are being asked to format the USB flash drive. We agree to that. After a few minutes, the ISO file is now on the flash drive and made bootable. When I now fire up my system the next time around and boot from the USB drive, I load directly into the EaseUS disk copy tool. This is running directly off the USB flash drive. This works regardless of any operating system installed. Even if Windows no longer works properly and refuses to start, we can still copy and clone drives and or partitions. The functionality is 100% consistent with what we saw earlier before within Windows. Conclusion. So for all those use cases mentioned, especially for beginners who would like to keep things nice and simple without a lot of technical mumbo jumbo and complicated terminology, the EaseUS disk copy tool is worth recommending. However, this is software you have to pay for. Although I'd like to see some additional and more advanced features in here, disk copy does exactly what its name promises. It simply gets the job done and copies and clones. I think it's great that we can create a bootable USB flash drive and thus take this piece of software anywhere we want and even move from system to system with it when doing a lot of cloning work on a larger scale. Of course, there are also many good alternatives on the market. In terms of price, we all have to decide for ourselves at the end of the day whether it's worth it, but purely from a technical perspective, this deserves a clear recommendation by me. You can find the link to the software along with a free license key for the first 100 users down below in the video description. What are your thoughts on such cloning software? Have you ever used this disk copy tool by EaseUS, especially the latest version of it? With that being said, thank you so much for watching everyone and until the next video.